How could you let me talk to her like that? You could have stopped me. What is wrong with you? We're supposed to be friends. Why didn't you just tell me? Why didn't you just tell me? I am your friend. She just lost something. Or something that's been with her since day one. Her heart just needs to learn how to beat without that extra love. When someone comes to us for help, we find a way. We figure it out. How to help them. We don't give up. We don't tell them that there's nothing left to do. So why couldn't you do your job? She figured I would do my best to take care of you, and she was right. You're not cynical. Not cynical enough. You made up a good story about a patient. Every one of us has done that. Just be careful. He likes you, his feelings are pure. No, he doesn't. Why would you even? Because I'm really right. Actually, so you really appreciated what you had to say. I appreciate it. You. I appreciate you too. We all love. We all get hurt. And then we come through the other side. Now we get to help them love again. I know you think it's complicated, thing. Relationships are complication. You can get hurt in the game, you can get hurt from the sidelines. I'm seeing Jackson, and it's wonderful. You know what? Yes, I am seeing Maggie Peterson. No, it's none of your business. None no, of my business. My love life isn't any of your concern. No, it never was and never will. Nothing's ever good enough for your job. It's not about Maggie. No, it's not about Maggie. Because she's brilliant. She's skilled. She's kind. And any mother in her right mind would be elated that she deigned to date their son. Damn. You make my hands shake. If I am undone by you, then you should really, really be undone by me too. I, um, still have real pain. You know, I got real wreckage and insecurities. And, I mean, look at this. I stapled a lap pad to my own hand this morning after seeing you. So... Yeah, I guess I'm undone by you too. You know what, my head is wrong, right? People show you who they are. I've done that. I've shown you a whole lot. It's Paige Dr. Avery. Oh, I'm right here. Oh my god. What do you want to do? Pick the house flap or a bunch of ways to call me? Did you, um, hear the phone too? I hear it. I want my own copy. <laughs> Dr. Alice, me thinks. You know, I really like her, Mom. I. I like her too. I want it to work between us. But, if it does all go to hell with me and Maggie, then you do have my blessing to take her side. Deal? Deal. Some people you don't see right away. But, uh, some people to sneak up on you. People can't be with the people they love. What? All over the world, people can't be with the people they love because of stupid laws and stupid life and stupid death. And so I can see where my aggressive avoidance of you might come across as ever so slightly petulant, but I still wish that you would apologize. I just need you to see that what you did was wrong. Maggie, April kissed me. No, no, I, I get that, and I'm, I'm not mad about that. I am mad because you didn't tell me. And I'm mad that you thought I couldn't handle it because my whole life people have been talking over me and, and talking down to me and assuming that just because I'm a little awkward and... and Goofy that I can't handle simple information. That's not what I was doing. Do you think I can't see that what you and April had was big and complicated? I mean, do you think you need to protect me? From I wasn't that? protecting you. I was protecting April. I was probably protecting myself, honestly, from this. Uh, from, from all of this. Like you think yourself as this goofy underdog. I mean, it's an old idea. You're beautiful. 
You're brilliant, you're powerful, you have all the power here. I'm over here sunk, and you keep showing me how capable you are just walking away. You have all these reasons, over and over, reasons to resist us, reasons why we can't be together. First it's April, then it's not our parents, then it's the fact that we work together, now it's this, it's just another thing, one moment I had with April when I was trying to be her friend, and now you're convinced again that you can just walk away again and again, this keeps happening.